your boy Heat in the city. We're back again with our artist interview. Today we have a special interview with our boy, a producer from Charleston, South Carolina. So, yeah, let's get it. Tell about we rocking. He in the city, you know what I'm saying? Rocking all the way from the A4 through with it. I'm about to tell y'all some things that y'all want to hear. Facts. Let's get it, let's get it. So, what made you get into, like, you know, making beats and being a producer? Uh, it came from listening, studying other producers, listening to artists coming from, you know what I'm saying, from the 80s on up 90s, you know, any cultural rapper, I listen to them. Any kind of beat, I dissect it. If the beat ain't fire, you know what I'm saying, it, I can't really rock with it, but you know, it came from just listening. I had a friend I did producing in school and he low-key paid the way and, and showed me what it was and how to do it at a different level. So you, you would say like he's one of your biggest inspirations when it comes to like you know what you do with your music, your beats. He's one of the the, pay, the one of the people who really paid the way. But my biggest inspiration I would say is really Metro and and Southside. Like that's that's two of my top two and really Sunny Digital too. Like it's I have three influences. So that's that's three fluent influences that I really rock with for for real. That really paved the way for me and my listening and how I do my beats. I got you, I got you. So how long have you been making beats? It's going on two and a half years now. I started making beats in 2018. I didn't have no kind of like, stop. I didn't really have no junk kids. I didn't have nothing like everybody else had. So I had to yeah. find my own way and doing this stop junk kids on um, to the junk kids that I had now. Shout out to the people who wrote with me. You know what I'm saying? Instagram that hooked me up too. I got you, I got you. So like, you know, what, what some advice would you give to some upcoming people, like, you know, producers or who want to get in like, your field of making beats? I would say don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't be afraid to be creative. Don't think that simple is, is a bad thing and don't get too complex with it. Because simplicity can pay, it can take you a long way with knowing how to place things and what to do. And don't always, you know, bite on somebody you know what I'm saying? It's okay to listen to them and like how they do it, but always do something that's going to fit you. You know what I'm saying? Because you doing things that other people are going to do is not going to always structure you the way you want for your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to find your own sound with this. So now, you know what I'm saying? I would just say just stick to yourself, stick to the grain, and don't be afraid to, you know what I'm saying, be yourself. I like that. I like that. In fact, you got to be, be true. So, what would you say is one of the big challenges you faced so far, in, like you know, in your career? Uh, just working my way up through my emotions of my day to day life. You know, like me going to work and you know, what I'm saying, starting off from the bottom and paving my way through the music and the music being my best friend through all my darkest times is transpired to better and bigger sounds for me. You know, so all my hard times really was the hardest and you know what I'm saying? They really structured me to me and how I make beats now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I dissected it, I took the time, you know, I stayed up till five o'clock in the morning, times like that, working. you know what I'm saying? Just working, studying from, you know what I'm saying, other people and just seeing what I can get out of it and believing in the vision that God had for me because I didn't know, you know what I'm saying, I was gonna end up doing it, but once I figured out that there was a way and people believed that I could do it, yeah. It really put a different spark into me and my understanding for how it works. So. Yes, sir. I can imagine that. I feel that. Real shit. So, what would you say is one of your biggest achievements so far? Uh, okay. So recently, I was just on, you know, Sunny Digital's live. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not too big, probably to other people, you know. But I was just on his live, and I just kept, you know, what I'm saying, spamming my name, and he eventually added me to the Instagram live, and I play one of my beats, yeah. and he liked it, you know. And Sunny Digital is, you know, what I'm saying, one of the biggest producers of, you know, what I'm saying, our era no, right now, talking. you know, what I'm saying, from Walker Flock on up, you know, what I'm saying, from the old Atlanta to the new, he's still doing his thing. So for him to like it and follow me after that, that really was a, a big, big spark. Yeah, I can imagine that's lit, bro. I really liked it, you know. I, I fuck with that. So where do you see yourself in like the next five, ten years? Personally, I want to just grow with more, you know, not too much more equipment, but just, you know what I'm saying, just working with artists and being able to travel and maybe get some studio time with another artist and get my emails up so I can start emailing packs more, you know what I'm saying, consistently and just networking with 
the A and R representative groups of different people and seeing how their culture and ways is and how they like their beats and stuff to be around them. So I just really want to study and see how that's gonna be for me and actually be there. And I really think that I will know that I will because I have a vision to know that I, where I want to be at in the next two to five years. Yeah, facts. So what are some like of your favorite clubs you've done with other producers? Uh, you said some of my favorite collabs? Yeah. Uh, I did it. some collabs with some people from Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? I did that. That was some smooth things, you know what I'm saying? One of them produced for uh, Duwalk Kane. I, you know what I'm saying? We did a little collab. He made me off a cell phone too, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> like, I, for me to do, you know what I'm saying, a collab, people actually like hitting me up from like Australia, you know what I'm saying, around the world, they, yeah. telling me stuff like, wow, like, and all I do, you know what I'm saying, is post on Instagram and stuff, you know what I'm saying, let people know how I'm rocking. So, for somebody to come from Atlanta way and reach out to me, it meant a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. I can imagine. I'm sure. His name was Mr. Weaver, too. Shout out to Mr. Weaver. You know what I'm saying? We got it in with that. Okay, okay. So is there anyone like you like to work with? Like collab with? Okay, uh, right now, some people I will want to collab with. I uh, recently played some joints back then from Hit On With The Jabs, you know what I'm saying? I want to collab with him, too. Uh, what you might call it, DJ Mark B. Some people around that way. And um, I got Cash Cache, his name too, you know what I'm saying? That's another one, Mexico Drill. It's a couple people I want to work with as far as producer wise and artist wise, you know what I'm saying? Some people around the way, like SG Tip, artist wise too, PD Escobar, you know what I'm saying? The upcoming wave of what yeah. people listen to, I want to work with them, you know, Lil Harold, yeah. stuff like that, you know? All right, got I got you. Come I got you. With that. Talk with that. So, what are like some things that like you know, we could be expect like you know, coming up in the next couple of months? Like you know that you're beginning to. Okay, I could say I got some. Like, upcoming you got projects coming out in the next week. Yeah, I got some projects coming up. Some upcoming projects, you know, that I'm working on with a few artists right now that be hitting me up. So the more that they drop, I'm gonna come up with a mix. You know, I gotta three mixes that I dropped on SoundCloud too, so I'm looking forward to coming out with another mix with the artists that I actually have and collab with over the time on one and actually drop it on the platform that everybody can listen to it on. Got you, I got you. So are you gonna play some beats first? Yeah, I can play I can play one of my favorite current ones I got right here. Right, it's got called it. Sleazy. Yo, this setup is crazy by the way too. Facts.
long does it take you to put a beat together? Normally, now, back then, it, it took me like 20 to get the loop and actually figure out how it worked until I got my own way. Now, it takes me like maybe, I would say 10 to 15 to make a beat. Once I get my loop correct and I know what kind of drum I want on it and I start listening to the different drum patterns and how I want to do it, they'll come out, you know what I'm saying? So, I would say maybe 10, 15 minutes back then, maybe 20, 30, but now 15 to 20. Okay, I got you. I got you. Nice quick process. So tell everybody where I can find your social media, all your beats, all your music. Okay, I, I drop on Instagram, you know, it's not never a time where I don't drop on there. I got some joints on SoundCloud as well. My Instagram is flu game, F-L-U-G-A-M-E-E -E underscore. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see a Scotty Pippen and a Michael Jordan sign, you know what I'm saying? Most dynamic game of all time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And hey, I appreciate you sitting down doing this interview with me. Hey, talking to your supporters, talking to my fans, and yeah, you definitely gotta keep them working. Got a lot coming up. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in for another artist interview with me, y'all.